for Carnival. Just miles from Casablanca, the Canary Islands are celebrating the world's second largest carnival. The election of the Queen kicks off the party and we've let playmate Jessica Lee loose at the scene. Hi, I'm Jessica Lee and I'm here on the Canary Islands celebrating carnival. The one thing I've learned about carnival is you can't have it without a queen. So follow me and we'll find out how these girls get ready for the big event. Bienvenidos a los carnavales de Tenerife. When I was a little girl, I was in the carnival. So now I am a queen more for the carnival and I like it. I have been in the gym three months. The costume, 300 kilo. That's a big costume. Yes. <laughs> Is it hard to get into the dress? Yes, no. You want to see me? <laughs> yeah, I would love to see you get into the dress. <laughs> okay. It's the flower of Venezuela. The flowers typical of my country. It's so beautiful. I it's think. very beautiful. Thank you. Tanta gente que me están observando. So many people helping me. How to walk, how to dance, how to get up and spin so that the feathers keep moving. For me tonight is very emotional. I'm going to try and enjoy this as much as I can because I love Carnival. I would be very excited to be Queen of Carnival for this town. So now you're judging the contest tonight. What will you be looking for? They've told me that I must uh, you know, judge the dress and the facial qualities, but it must be an overall thing, you know. So now that the girls are all dressed, time for the hard part, actually walking on stage. Check them out. Some of them look really uh, painful. Those dresses are beautiful and those girls are so graceful. Now it's time for the judges to make their final decision for the Queen of Carnival. Reina del Carnaval de la ciudad de Santa Cruz de Tenerife, la señorita Silvia González Rodríguez. It was the most incredible event I've ever been to in my life. It was totally way beyond what I thought it was going to be. It was great, fantastic. Not how pretty they were. That was a movement, flexibility, uh, colors, originality. It wasn't a beauty contest. Wow, those costumes were amazing. Stick around Carnival to see what else we have to offer you. Woo, we're gonna have lots of fun. Now, let's see how Canary Islanders have fun aside from Carnival. While wrestling in American culture has evolved into a high-flying, full-flare sport, across the pond, they've held tight to their wrestling traditions. So, how long has this wrestling been around? This was started in 1400s around. The wrestling is, consists of actually trying to throw the opponent down on the floor. Okay, I can learn. I can learn this. This is easy. I can do this. You guys take it easy on me, right? So I think I'm gonna change into my shorts because I need shorts for this, and um, we'll be back to do some wrestling, canary style. <laughs> Okay, this is Pedro, one of the Canary wrestlers. I'm gonna take him down. Ready? Ah! Woo! <laughs> that was kind of fun. <laughs> Woo! I won, I won, I won! 
One more time. After the break, we're getting lost in Moroccan culture. Ramba Zamba. Ramba Zamba. Opal and I hit it off. I think I can marry you. Really? I mean, will you marry me? Then Jessica gets prepped for Carnival. Whips and chains? Yeah, 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 yeah. Are you into that? Don't go away.